Hey, what is up, gamers? Gamer Girl here, and welcome back to the boss. Alright, so, last time we left off, we had just gathered up with everyone, and now we're going to rebel against GLaDOS. It's gonna be epic! As let's say, the, the, the Stanley Parable Adventure Line TM. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Um. What? Whoa. Uh, okay. Sure. <laughs> oh! That's adorable. Look at that. A little n Night in the Woods action. At least I believe it was. I don't think I ever watched Jack play that. Uh, whoops. Um, nice little portal action, yeah. Plus a portal room. Oh, Limbo! Or is it inside? No, no, it's definitely Limbo. Inside had a different vibe to it. Or a slightly different vibe to it. This is epic. Hey, it's home! Maybe we should try to stay here to keep Billy alive. I've been fighting against that for years. You have about a hundred videos worth of proof, Jack. We get it. <laughs> That was dope, we went through all the little universes. Uh, save on a different file. Oh, we're back here. Oh, they have letters on them now. The little things. Oh my god. Oh, it's the peanut gallery. Come to watch the demise of employee 207. Well, not that you could actually see it given he's an invisible entity. Guys! I'm glad you're here. 207? You don't sound good. This is tougher than I expected. Turns out I can't do this alone. Wait a minute, why did you line out of uh, out of this place lead us here? Could have sworn I told it to take you guys to safety. Wait, oh no, 207. That was the Stanley Parable line Stanley Parable Adventure Line TM. Oh man, you're right, that just takes you to adventure wherever it is. Must have been here then. Well, I'd like to think this was fate. We'll help you in any way we can. You must be fooling yourselves. You can't possibly reach me, and even if you could, how are you going to stop me? You don't have any weapons. They don't need weapons. Guys, get to the other room! What are you doing? Get back here. Nope. See ya. Now what do we do? There's a lot of buttons here. We probably need to do something with those. Well, it's probably a good idea to not touch any of them until we know what to do. Exactly. You're gonna need to press those in a certain order I've programmed to initiate what I'm calling the end game protocol. You wrote a program behind my back? Clever. Maybe a little too clever. If I unleash you or any of them upon the world, who knows what could happen? That sounds a little too ominous. He's a clever one. I may be a killer aperture science facilitator, but I'm a fair killer aperture science facilitator. You have two minutes before you meet your demise. And don't worry, I'll write some nice things about you in your records. Tried hard. Did their best. Showed promising signs of near intelligence. Something like that. You're going to blow this place up? Yes. Oh, but don't worry about me. I can transfer myself to a safer location, so Aperture Science will live on with me, in the other parts of the facility. This part will be, without a doubt, out of commission for good. Oh, oh, we literally have two minutes! Buttons, you either press them in the order of a specific word or name that has significance. Take a look at the letters and think. Uh... This might be a st uh, U P uh, uh significance. What uh K T trying to think. I'm trying to remember wh what it was when I watched Jack play this. Okay, no need to panic, but we're running out of time. Please try to think and hit the buttons in the correct order. I don't know! I'm, I'm thinking! Give me a second! 
Uh, um, um. Ah, that was a sign of no good. Um. Oh, that. Okay. Okay. Um. No. Oh, frick. Okay. Wait. So that was correct. Uh. So Think, guys. You can do this. I know you can. What game did we first meet in? Oh! Thanks for the hint! I would have never gotten that! Okay, bet. Stan... Oh god, I only have 30 seconds left. Stan... 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 Lee... Uh... I, I hate to think that these are our last moments together, but... This really could be it, so... What? Why did the yes! timer stop? Yes! Stanley! That's it! Now! Head to the pedestal and throw something in! Da! Go! Oh, oh, I'm going. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Going. In? Don't you mean on? And what do we use? Okay, so I didn't. Okay, thank God. I thought I thought we had to use all of the letters back there. I was like, uh, 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 what? I don't know, but whatever it is, it has to be small. What about that potato? Now it's not the time to be hungry. Wait, that'll fit on top perfectly. A potato. Ha ha. Very funny. Is that a reference? Somehow that worked out better than expected. I guess it is now. You have fun with the nostalgia, GLaDOS. Wait. No. No, this can't be happening. Not again. No! Haha. <laughs> I suppose you find this terribly funny. I do indeed. Believe me. Because as soon as I get out of this form, I am going to terminate your sorry and send them to whatever afterlife you all may care to believe in. You. That's for static really there. Did. You all really did it! <laughs> oh, man! That's pretty touch and go, but wow! You really came through and saved our hides. Just, thank you. Really. Thank you so much. Hey, happy to still be alive. Man, my heart's still pounding like crazy. Whoa! I might need to lie down, just like right here. Please don't step on me, or trip. Watch your feet. My hands are really shaking, but I'm glad we're alright. Billy, you don't seem very relieved. You alright? not that. I am relieved. I guess I'm just feeling kind of numb right now after going through all of this shit. What? How did you just... Why didn't you get censored? Oh, about that. Even censoring was primarily for my benefit, but just because everyone's censored around me doesn't mean I don't know the words already. It's pretty simple. Dumbass. Fuck those you, Billy. That's so sweet of you, Jack. <coughs> Yes, well, as charming as all of this is, we should probably get you guys out of here. Thanks so much again for everything. You've, you've really opened my eyes as to what I need to do. What are you going to do? I think I'll head back to party hard. It's been a while, and, well, having a near-death experience outside of your own game really makes you think long and hard about your life. So, thank you. I'll make sure you guys get out of here safely. Aw, you're welcome. And thanks. Be seeing you around, 207. So what now? Oh, here we go. Oh, this is open now. Ah. Uh, oh! Hey, it's the Hedges person key. It must have spawned outside the game. Are you serious? We went through all that and it's just here? Oh, that we didn't see it on the way out. I think we spawned right into Stanley's office, so that's no real surprise. I bet GLaDOS did this on purpose. Well, it doesn't matter. That's the last key. Hell yeah. Home sweet home. Oh, they're here now. Hey, what are you doing in line? Market research. Have to keep an eye on our competitors, too. Plus, we thought we could pickpocket a few people and sell their stuff back to them. That sounds like you two, all right. Pretty sure that's illegal. It's only illegal if you get arrested. You do realize there's law enforcement in the building, right? Not for long. That's ominous. Okay, um, let's do a little save save. Oh, Franny's here. Billy. You want to say hi to your crush? Oh, look at him. Hey, Fran. Hello, Billy. Hello, Jack and Cliff. Thank you again for saving my kitty. It was no problem. Only took a creepy dark ritual. Uh, what? I had to do a dark ritual to bring Mr. Midnight back to Fran's reality. No biggie. Again? Oh, I'm sorry, Fran. I wish you'd call me. I could have helped. I know you would have, but I'm sure you were doing something really important for the team. Oh, yeah, I was really important. They couldn't have done it without me. 
I worked through Freddy Fazbear's Pizza to distract all the killer animatronics from them so they could find the Hydra's prison key and save millions of fans from eternal entrapment in the hard drive. How very brave of you. That's me, brave, taking one for the team. Oh, look at him, he's blushing! Should we tell her what he was wearing? Nah, man, let him have his moment. Aww, that's so cute. Oh, Nugget's in here now. Hello, Nugget. Nugget is disconsolent that you are be to be leaving Wireland so soon. Aw, oh, Nugget, I'm sorry. Nugget will never forget the time we had together, however, miss however minuscule. We didn't really have a lot of time together. Nugget has not forgotten the time we bought about the, the apocalypse together. You have kept your Nugget safe, but I don't have it with me. It is a metaphysical Nugget, a Nugget in your heart. But please take this final Nugget as a token of Nugget's appreciation. Aw, cute. Now Nugget is distraught over your departure and does not like long, long goodbyes. Shoot. Aw. Alright, got the last key. You're back. How, d how did this round go? It was filled with insanity and ex existentialism. So, good then? It was definitely interesting. I had a good time. We almost died. I know, it was awesome. Sleep Pirates Cliffs got the right idea. We're outside our game, Undyne. Flaming unicycles are out of the question. Spoil Spart. Anyway, did you find the hardest prison key? Yeah, we found it. It, uh, wasn't easy. Actually, it was easy. The road to getting it? Not so much. Who knew corporate grudges were so difficult to work around? Huh? Never mind. Here you go, office. This fixes the computer for good, right? Let's see what I can do. Ah! We did it! Yes! Now we can... Go home. Jack, what's the matter? Well, I mean, we can go home now, and of course we have to, but I have no idea how we got here in the first place, and I'll admit, I'm going to miss it. You're leaving? Well, I mean, this isn't our world, and I can't really play games unless I'm outside the computer, can I? He's right, Papyrus. We're going to miss you so much! Yeah, you're awesome for a total dork. I'm gonna miss you too. I hope it's not out of place for me to say this, but if I didn't have to work on your computer the whole time, I... Oh gosh, I'd have liked to spend more time w with you, Jack. Aw, you guys. I'm going to miss you guys so freaking much, even if you're not my versions of the characters. You're the first ones I ever saw. We shall miss you too, Cliff, and you, Jenny. Aw, this was the first versions of them I saw. Say, man, you guys are really sweet people. It's sweet to hang with. Oh, don't forget, double date. Just ask Jack for his IP address. I can't wait to meet your guys. I know it was a short time, but apparently that's all it takes. I miss you all too. I'll miss you all too. Jack, you have the best fans, and now you guys are going to be friends. Yeah, nothing like a good adventure to bring people together. Speaking of, Papyrus, you said we're outside our game. Does that mean if we were inside our game, you'd consider the unicycles? Well, I suppose so, but that depends on who's riding them. Maybe we can get Sans to do it. Bet him one gold and he'll do it. His dignity is cheap. Dude, the guard pays me well. I could do that for days. Anyway, not that I don't mind de delaying what's coming, but... Uh, yeah, we should get you guys home. All you need to do now is g go through your bedroom door, and that should do it. I'll set up to take you all home. It's set up to take you all home. Why the bedroom? The computer was a bit finicky with the directions. I got through the firewall, but it won't set up the way home anywhere else. That's being blocked off. Yeah, little potato man dubbed himself the border guard for Jack's bed chambers. You could forge the documents. Sans is great at forgery. Undyne, you're a royal guard. How could you suggest such a thing? There's literally no way for to get legit documents in that game. So fight fire with fire, huh? Sounds good to me. I doubt he's going to know the difference. You saw the stuff he gave you, Jack. Obvious forgeries, yeah. Well, it's worth a shot. Well, you better get in line soon. Sans doesn't serve cutters. He's let, he's led us to the front so far. He's been cracking down on rules since this little kid started going through the line pit, putting gum in people's hair. Are we going to have to stand in that really long line? You might not need to, Billy, but Jack certainly will. And I'll stand with him, even if I don't need documents. Yeah, that's a good point. Are we gonna need to fool him too? Nah, he says he runs a strict border, but if he sees you're with the Jack, he'll let you by. Well, better get going. Yeah, you should, but before you do, you should know that once you leave the house, you've left Wireland. As soon as you cross the barrier between the game world and reality, you can't come back. Even if you tried to go back, you'd get into the apartment, but we wouldn't be there. No one fictional would be. So only real people through the door? Only real people. No game characters. We can't leave with, with you, Jack. That's okay, I really appreciate everything you've done. Yeah, I'm really glad we met you. You're just as cool as your videos make you look. Thanks, everyone. I guess we've got a line to stand in. Let's get going, Postopticai. Oh, alright. Oh my god! <laughs> Not the shop shop toilet. Aww. The art is so cute. I love it. <laughs> Billy, 
<laughs> oh, hey Billy, how you doing down there? You shorty? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, it's so big. <laughs> Segway Steve just segwaying around. Wait, oh jeez. I love the variation of freaking uh, the music or whatever. Freaking Megalovania or whatever. Oh, look at Billy! I believe it's Megalovania. I'm having a little bit of a brain fart right now. Christ. Come on, you haven't been standing for that long. See, you're completely normal. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I know, it was like, <laughs> I'm ripping it off. Sold out. Are you serious? We stayed in life for that long just to be cold. It was sold out. Sorry, guys, I'm completely sold out. Seriously, we spent like, who even knows how long on this line? What can I say? You're popular. But I got a hairbrush here you can have. Why do you need a hairbrush? You won't have any hair. Well, that's just discrimination. I offer you a perfectly good hairbrush and you criticize my appearance? How hair you? Your insulting comments really cut me deeply. I'm dying inside. Well, at least it adds more color to the conversation. Thanks for the offer, but I'll pass on the brush. Well, I guess you could also just tell Potato Man who you are. He might let you through. Who knows? Weirder things have happened. I guess it's not a half-baked idea, but if we butter him up a bit. I could have sworn I talked to him way early and he was like, no. This one. I like this one. Alright, fast up to guy. I think we should take our chances. Thanks, Sans, I think. Oh, and the bathroom is small again. Oh my god! There's so many people! Oh my god. Uh, I want to talk to them all, but I can't. Aww. Oh, is this a little good- Oh, it's a little goodbye party, isn't it? Oh my god, look at everyone. Jesus Christ, Bendy's so tall. Why is he so tall? Papers, please. Uh, will my ID work? I am Jack, you know, as in Septicai. Why do you know say so in the first place? I'm pretty sure we did. I just needed to make sure you were you, and I see now y you are you. Uh, well, I guess we didn't pull out our ID before. That's all it took this whole time? Hey, just be glad it worked out this time. Well, I guess this is it. Away we go. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much for all the memories. Seriously, it's been amazing to meet you. Hey, if Jenny and Cliff- Hey, if Jenny and Cliff are connected through the internet, we can all hang out with their alter alternates. Jesus Christ, I forgot to- for I forget sometimes that I do voice acting for them, cause, you know, Undertale. Yeah, it's not totally goodbye. Yeah, dude, and y you humans can always give our games a play in biz if you ever start missing us. Or even if you don't. Seriously though, this has been an amazing experience. I guess I'll see you all in my spare time. I've got some games to, re to revisit. Come on, Billy, we've got some subscribers to save. I can't, Jack. Didn't you hear what Alpha said? Real people only. Oh, that's right. You know, it's kind of flattering you that you forgot I was just a character. Yeah, I, I actually wish you could come. I wish I could too, but, you know, I'm just a couple of sprites and lines of code. That's all I've ever been. You know you've been more than that. You've always been more than that. I know, actually. It feels weird to say this, especially to you. But you're the best thing that ever happened to me, Jack. Come on, that's not true. All I do is rage at you. I know, and because of that, because you singled me out, look around. There's so many versions of me everywhere. Everyone knows who I am. And your subscribers, they really love me. Yeah, they love to hate me. But I'm not a major character. I don't even have my own name. All I am is a kid on the back of a bike. You made me so much more than that, Jack. You made me someone special. That's all any character could can ask for. I might not have an official name. But I'm proud to be Billy. Oh, I'm glad, Billy. Oh. So I guess this really is goodbye, then. I guess it is. Until you play Happy Blues every now and again. Just promise you won't forget me? I promise. And Billy, thank you. Thank you for... Look, Jack, I don't want to do this long, drawn-out goodbye. All I want is to hear you say what you always say to me. Aww. Screw you, Billy. Aww, ah, that's so cute! And so sad. Screw you too, Jack. Oh, my heart. Come on, everyone, let's go home. Oh, Is this a finale? Jeez, it's only been 20 minutes. Nume. Oh, I can't even nume. Just a slow saunter. Oh. Is it just a 
just means the screen. No, the screen is definitely getting darker. It's very dark. Whoa. I knew you'd come. Uh. What? Who are you? You seriously didn't miss me? What? Oh, whoops. Sorry, alarm. Disappointing in you. I'd have thought it would have been obvious. After all this time running around and trying to undo my work. You mean, I'm the boss. What? But I, I don't understand. Why did you try to stop us from leaving? Who are you? Wow, I guess it is true that no one really cares about me. They only ever tune in to see you. The boss is nothing, after all. Jack, who is that? It's Anti, right, Jack? It's your computer and that's an evil you, so that must be Anti. That doesn't look like Anti, though. No. It's Sean, isn't it? Oh. Wait, so Jack and Sean are two separate entities? In this? What? Uh, you caught on at last. About time. I wondered if, uh, because... Hmm. Because old Jeff Sub guy 2017 was the latest, I think, with the green hair, and now Jack is with the brown hair. Or a little, a little coffee bean. Uh, you caught on at last. About time. I wondered if you would figure it out or blunder around like an idiot with no idea what was really going on. Wait a minute, what? I thought Sean was your real name. No. Sean is his real name. Wait, but... Don't you get it? That's Jack, the goofball, the yelling idiot who never knows when to quit. He's not me. Not anymore. That's not true. Don't give me that. Don't try to turn against me. I made you. I'm the reason you even exist. So Jack is his internet personality. Mm. No, don't you give me that, Sean. You trapped millions of people on my hard drive. And for what? What was the purpose? It just doesn't make any sense. Of course it doesn't. I didn't trap them here. Then who did? Don't you understand? It was Billy who orchestrated this whole thing. He trapped the subscribers. He called us here. No, that's crazy. Billy wouldn't do that to us. He cares about the channel and the subscribers. They're what made him who he is. Oh, he didn't know what he was doing. He actually thought he was doing us a favor. No, that makes no... Haven't you ever wondered how he, he knew you needed power regulators and just so happened to have them on him? How he always seemed to know just the right things to say at the, just the right moment? He trapped everyone, but he didn't do it to hurt you or anyone at all. He knew that I was in conflict, so he decided to set this whole adventure up so that I would be the hero. I would see how much my subscribers love me and need me. Then why are there two of you? What do you think, Jack? Why are we two people? I was so conflicted. Perhaps the computer saw two different people when I was uploading. It turned I into us. And he's not as dumb as he looks. So that's why everything felt off. You weren't completely you, Jack. I just thought I was wrong about you. Who you actually were. You seemed different. You caught on then. I'm surprised. I didn't think anyone would care. Why did you leave those messages? The boss is nothing. The boss is useless. What's the point in leaving them all over the computer? To stop me from coming? Come on, Jack. You're smarter than this. You know how this place works. We affect canon more than canon. Our thoughts and opinions and moods, they shape this place, what it is, what it looks like. It's far more than ships or voices or head cannons. Even the messages found all over reef reflect how we really feel inside. So why are you still here? The only reason I didn't just leave is that I noticed two subscribers were missing, and I couldn't just leave two people trapped in the hard drive forever. You mean we just glitched into the games instead of wherever this is? Yes, it was a mistake. You should have been uploaded with the others. Oh, I guess we weren't special after all. No, that's not what I meant. Just come with me and everything's going to be fine. Oh! What did you do to them? They're with the others now. They're fine. You are not leaving me here. And what are you going to do about it? I'm not going to let you win. Game has been auto-saved. Uh... Oh! You feel your hands shaking and your heart beating. Oh my god, we're fighting? I don't want to fight! Come on, Sean. I know you don't want to do this. Do you? Do you really? We might have been the same person once, but now, everyone expects me to be you all the time, but I'm more than just you. I'm sick of drowning in you so much that I don't even know who I am anymore. Oh. What? Oh! Stop trying to change your fate. What? Uh, uh, what? Um. I'm sorry, excuse me? Excuse me. Did my game just close? My game just closed. Sorry. Uh, let's just... Uh, um... Uh, mm. What? Okay, um, let's try that again. Yes, yes, we've seen all this. Okay, whoops, um, it's because I went off the path, didn't I? Ever so slightly. 
Oh, I don't like the sliding. Okay, you feel powerless. He doesn't seem to see you. Oh, jeez. Uh, talk! I know that's not true. You stayed for Jenny and Cliff. You wouldn't leave without them. I know you still care. That's not what this is about. Then what is it about? It's about the real reason we're doing this. It's for the subscribers. It's because we want to make them happy. It's because they expect it of us, and I am sick and tired of keeping up this facade. Pe press enter a space. What? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot, I didn't see what it said. Um, avoid the blue words. Um, okay. Where do I, where do I go? Down? Up? Where? Uh, serve you what? Okay, it didn't close my game this time. That's good. Um, let's try that again. You have to change his mind, but he's not listening. Oh, okay, so it okay, so it's saved. Then it, I don't have to do all of that again. What do you mean you aren't making any sense? You, you have no idea what it's like trying to act the same way day in and day out without anyone recognizing the real person behind it all. It's tiring. If it weren't fun for me to make the, the videos, I would have quit long ago. But now, it's starting to lose its luster. Okay, avoid the blue words. Got it. Oh, I almost had it. This is tedious. Yeah, uh, talk. Yes, 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 yes. We've seen all this. Okay. Gotta go faster than what I just did. And avoid the blue words at the same time. Oh, I thought I hit that one. You want to tell him that this is just a momentary feeling, but the words won't come. Don't you, do, don't you think you're overreacting? Maybe we do need a change of pace, but getting rid of me isn't going to do anything. Like what, a vacation? Do you really think we can just put everything down and turn off our social media and uploads that long? Three days off the schedule and the relentless algorithms of internet re relevance would begin to crush us. And even if I could take a vacation, I can't even go to the movies without you being called out too. Ever heard of burnout? Well, I suppose a little ball of energy like you wouldn't understand. Your mind reels, how can he just count you like this? So you're just giving up? You don't know what I've been through. I don't even share that with you. You literally can't feel despair. You can't understand how this feels. You're just one face out of many. One little piece of me who, monkey, who monkeys around for the amusement of others. Haven't you seen what they're saying about you? I guess you wouldn't care. You don't care how what you do reflects on us. Anything to get a laugh, right? It was all right for a while, but now we're too divided. I need more space from you. We can't coexist anymore. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Come on! Oh! All it said was, is he right? Wait, what? What? Serves you- Uh... The community isn't going to care if you're me all the time. They want to see our real face, even if they don't like what they see. They want the connection. We've always tried to be genuine and honest. Why should it be different now? I can barely muster up the energy anymore, Jack. I can't be the person they want, and I don't want to let them down. I can't let them down. This is the only way to end this. Ah, get away from me, get away, get away, get away! Don't, 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 don't you dare. Ah! <sighs> you have to save him before he does something he'll regret. You're wrong about the subscribers. You're wrong about the community. They really care about you. Yeah, they might say that. But they're just looking for their next laugh. Their next 20 minutes of entertainment. Now stop struggling. I'm, so, I'm sick of this fighting. One of us has to win. It has to be me. I have to make this right. Oh, he's getting all sad now. No, I don't like it when Sean is sad! Oh, it's not going up. It's not going up. It's not... Okay. You think you're losing. No, I will never lose. What is it that you have to make right? I need to set us all free. And I can't do that if you keep getting in my way. I can help you. I don't want your help. Oh. It's over. I'm sorry if I made you feel that way. But for me, even if it's only 20 minutes of laughter, it's sometimes the only 20 minutes in the day I can laugh. Oh my god, are all these stars as crappers? Like a friend when there's no one. Thank you. Please, just thank you. 
It's not just her. We all love you. Not just because you're freaking hilarious, but also because, you know, it's real for us. I have millions of friends to talk to whenever I'm down or when I'm super excited about anything. You give me the energy and the inspiration to keep doing what I love, which is creating. So, thank you. I am so proud of who you are and what you're doing. Thank you for giving me the courage to follow my dreams. You made me want to create again, to just keep on trying until I crack whatever the hell it is I'm doing. I mean, hey, how cool is that, dude? Oh, this is Don't all so sweet! I can't even move! Oh, look at this! This is so cute! Oh! And this is true! We do love you, Sean! We love you and the personality, Jack. We love your the real you and the frickin' happy-go-lucky Jack you. See, see, I was right. See, everyone loves you. Oh, don't cry, please don't cry. Ah, I'm gonna cry if you're crying. See, they do care, even if it doesn't feel like it. I know that's easy to forget, but that's why I'm here. That's why you need me, because you can't do it alone, and nobody should expect you to either. Burdens are lighter than when carried by two, or more, like a few million more. I'm sorry, Jack. Don't be. I might not be able to feel despair or burnout or anything negative, really. But I think that helps me see things in a better way. It helps me see you the way everyone else does. It's so easy to forget that everyone else sees us differently than we see ourselves. So let me continue to be the one to remind you of that. Thanks. Now come on, I think we've been separated for far too long. Oh, yay. Well, that feels better. Aww. Home! Home? Wait. Home. Ah! Thought you were gone. Is everything okay? Wow, thanks for the warm welcome. You know, that's not what I me meant. So what happened? There was this burst of light and I really don't remember that m much. Me neither. It was weird. Don't worry about it. I'm glad you're back. Where's Sean? Well, here. I mean, we were the same person this whole time. Now it's just official. Still can't believe Billy did all that. Believe it or not, Billy was just trying to help. My Sean side did some digging while trying to figure out how to get us back and found out what happened. I mean, it's kind of convenient, you know, not meeting all my subscribers and beloved game characters, or me meeting all my subscribers and beloved game characters. It's read a bit like a fan fiction, and that's what it was. A well-intentioned story st starring me being written by a little boy trying to fix something he saw was broken. But how on earth did he do it? Billy isn't installed like the other characters. He's from a Flash game, so he was saved in the cookies on my computer. Part wireless, part internet. He's basically one of the most powerful people here. So he used the internet to bring us all here and send you on an eagle trip? I doubt that was it. I think he brought us here to show Jack how valuable he is to us. I agree, but he sort of underestimated how com complicated things could become because, well, at his heart, he's really just a little boy doing the best he could. So why are we still here? Well, he must be uploading everyone, but I think he queued us last. He must have wanted to make sure we had a chance to say goodbye. So I guess we should say goodbye and stuff before Billy sends us off. Well, man, it was great meeting you, even if no one is going to believe me. And I may not believe it myself, but, you know, this is the most awesome thing that's ever happened to me. Well, it's not like this is goodbye forever. We could still meet at conventions and stuff. And we'll always have YouTube. Sadly, the closest conve convention to me is Awesome Con, but you haven't been to that one. Well, you never know. I could, I guess I could Google it or something. Or you could ask them to hire you. That would probably be more effective. See you around, man. Yeah, thanks for everything. See you. Oh. So, I guess it's time for me, too. I really want to say thank you, Jenny, for everything. If it weren't for you, I don't know how this would have ha ended. No problem. It all really meant a lot to me, all of this. I'll never forget it. I'm really happy to have met you. Oh no, you're making me cry too. Come here. Oh! Stop! You're gonna make me cry! Frick! Thank you, Sean. Oh. 
You're welcome. Home! Well, this is a relief. Oh. And your adventure here? Yeah. Jenny, Cliff, and everyone else are waiting for me. So I guess it's back to work I go. Top of the word to you, ladies. My name is Jessica. Is that Jacksepticeye, fuck, frick, ah, uh, sorry, and welcome back. Oh. 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 Look at that. Ah, oh, and that's the end. Uh, but it's not the complete end, because if I remember correctly, there's... So, like in the uh, Hearts of Heroes, there was a little bit of an after hub where you get to talk to the creators and see a, a bunch of fan art. If I remember correctly, oh, Subnautica! If I remember correctly, um, this one has one too, so we're just gonna sit through these beautiful credits. Oh, until dawn! Ah! God, I need to watch more Jacksepticeye. Like, I love him to bits, but I do not watch him nearly as much as I should. Or I want to. Aww. Jingo! And, yeah, I, I mean, I have watched a few of his playthroughs. I think the first playthrough I watched of his was, um... Oh, I'm sure I have the classes. Was, um... The, for, the first full playthrough, I think, was... Oh. For, or, the first one I remember, rather, is Undertale. I mean, that, that's probably not it. I think it's the first video. Was it Happy Wheels? I don't remember. No. Oh. Um... But yeah, like 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 with uh like Cliff said, um those were the those characters or Jack's versions of the Undertale characters were the first uh characters that I oh pretty hard that I um that I knew about that I or, or that I found that's how that's how I found out about them is was was through Jack or that was his the, that was the first person I watched play it rather so. I saw that some of these games I don't recognize. Um, but I do, I do really want to watch Jack more. Like, he is one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Like, I really need to watch him more. Because I know I will enjoy his videos. Oh, Sam's. Oh, look at Cliff. Oh, oh, Sam. That's so cute. Oh, I love that. Jenny. Well, Jenny didn't have a last name. That's strange. All right. Oh, oh Billy! Oh, that's so cute. God, the art is so freaking beautiful in this game. Like, it's so freaking smooth and everything. I love it. Oh, and there's the Irishman himself. Oh, Jack and Sean. Oh. It's so cute! I love it! I love it so much! Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh, little Sam. Potato Man, Eevee, oh, all the game characters. <laughs> I'm totally not gonna kill you. <laughs> The ring included everyone. Oh, is that the head from... Call from Apple? No, thank you. Is that the head from, uh... Oh, shoot, what was that one game? Bill and Ted or something? No, that's completely off. Like, the the kid who was friends with a zombie and something like that. Oh, and Sans. I, lo I love how they include... Oh, Bendy. Hello. I love how they include everyone. Like, every single character. Oh, and Mark and Felix. Oh, Yay! God, this is so pleasing. Just to look. Like, uh, everything about this game is pleasing. From the art, to the music, to, like, all the little references. Like, the fact that they included so many games. And even here, like, they're mentioning all the characters here. And, like a little art of all the characters like it's so freaking detailed and I love it so much like and 
like, even even though I don't, I haven't watched a lot of Jack, especially not recently, like, oh my god, that's terrifying, um, like, I still, like, get all the references, mostly because, you know, video games, I've seen other people play them, but still, like, and, like, the, the Billy thing, like, where he said, oh my god, the potato, like, where he said, like, oh, the fans love me, like, that, that is true, I love Billy, like, he is one of my favorite, like, characters that Jack has created. Like, he's such a classic, and like, oh my god, when Jack released his 100, the, the live stream that he did for the 100th episode of Happy Wheels, I literally almost cried, like, that was nostalgia for me, man. Like, because I found it and I binged all the videos that he had uploaded right then, and then, like, I, I was just, I just watched every single new one that came out, and like, god, and the All The Way song, too, like, like the all the way song too like and the fact that the remix was released like on the same day a year later like oh my god so nostalgic like god it's just so cool i love it so much oh and they're showing all the maps in the background god the art is so smooth like it, it's so cute and like the the main thing that makes art like or, or like one of the i think yeah no the main thing that makes art like so cool for me is like or when it comes to people like the facial expressions like the way someone does a facial expression like can be vital like to the to the way i think about an art like i mean sure i'll think about the other things like how smooth it is and the colors and all that but like facial expressions is like the first thing i notice because like if they're doing like a sad facial expression and got the tears running down their face like that'll i'll, that, I'll be sad like that'll make me want to cry because i'm like no my babies don't be sad i love you because, like, like, I envision, like, sort of, like, a thing where it's, like, oh, like, I see the art, and they're making him cry, and I could just, like, imagine, like, Jack crying or, like, whatever, and I'm just, like, no, don't cry, and, like, god, it's just, it's so perfect, like, the art, the art in this game is so pe perfect. Oh, the little Jack running, look at, oh, oh, all the little... Oh. And the music is so sweet too. Like just the music alone, like this music right here alone, making me want to cry. Like it's so perfectly sad and sweet at the same time. And it's oh, oh no, oh no. Like it's just it's so perfect. And like oh my god. Oh look at the little shop. Oh my gosh. The arrows. Ah, <laughs> sands. No references they put into like all the stuff guys everywhere. Like how some of the characters were wearing the merch, like Sans is and Papyrus, and like how Clip was wearing the Jackson Sky merch. Like, uh, uh, hello, Glados. Oh no, Jack. <laughs> oh, and Cliff. They're like, oh no, oh dear, not again. Oh, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> oh. Amazing people would like to think. Oh, oh, look at the little banner. Oh, look at the little banner. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Oh, Billy. <laughs> so cute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. The double T. Jesus Christ. The ships, man. The ships. Oh. Oh, no. The plant. Oh. Oh, look at that! We did a little high five! Hell yeah, man! Oh. Oh, Billy! Look at that! Oh, that is definitely a ship. Period. OTP, right there. They're so cute! Oh my god. Oh my god, this one's so detailed. All the game characters. Wow. Oh, so cool. Oh my god, the little anti on the screen. I noticed that at the last second. Oh, there it is. I was kind of thinking, like, oh, I hope we get a photo of Jack and Jenny hugging. Yep, there it is. Oh. So cute. Look at that. Oh. Jack's up to guy for being you. You for being an value at your person, member of the community. You're amazing and you're capable of incredible things. Sorry, I was not paying attention to the credits. <laughs> I read that at the last second, though. Oh. Oh, with a little flag. Look at that. That's so cute. Alright, everyone. Please gather a little closer. Yes, that's it. We are going to give Jack a proper send-off with the Wireland National Anthem. Let's just get the sentimental crap over. It is so much more than just sentimental. It is our culture, our heritage, our... Yeah, yeah, can we just get to the part where I sing over everyone? Oh, 
If you want me to be quieter, I can be. No! Everyone has to sing like they're running away from a wild axe man! That's tradition too! May, stop jumping up and down. It's really distracting. Billy, do you want to stand next to me up front? Yeah, let's keep all the tall people in the back where they belong. Also, baby, can you try to be a bit less creepy this time? I will try, but this is my default voice. There are no guarantees. Uh, guys? Why are the officers here? I think they're here to get everyone in place. Oh! Don't push me! I can move on my own. Attention! We are gonna give Jack the best damn send-off in the history of send offs so you maggots better shape up or ship out! Where shall I stand? Doesn't matter. You're not, like, corporate. Corporeal. We're about to start. Oh, this feels Everyone undeserved ready? because I'm not Jack. Let's begin. But this was very cute when uh, Jack played it and they did this. His reaction was amazing. I loved it. Oh my gosh, Tony. Wrong country! <laughs> Aww. The game by Sarcastic Pasta. Amazing job. I almost said that with an Irish accent. Pasta or something like that. I don't know. Later. Oh. Oh my god! Are we gonna- Oh my god! Phew, long day. Oh my god. Are we gonna meet Jenny and Cliff in real life? Yes! That was a really long signing, but it looks like everyone is going home. Except the 18 plus crowd. Great convention, right? I was in line to meet you, but it got hit by the cutoff. Yeah, it was great. Sorry you didn't get up to me. But hey, we're talking now. Um. So, it happened, right? What happened? Um, you know, that thing. Shane Billy isn't here. Yeah, I miss that guy. I don't. Good guy, though. Yeah, right, Jenny? It did happen! Oh, look at that! Oh! Oh, that's so cute! Oh, I love that! Hit my girl. Hi! Um, whoa! I forgot I put my name into this! Whoa! Thanks so much for playing this game. The developers and I really appreciate this, and we hope you had a great time. But more importantly, we want you to remember something. I could never have gotten where I am if it weren't for you. And this game wouldn't have been possible if not for the community. Every single one of you is valuable. You may not see that all the time, and that's okay. But Michaela, you are important. You are an important. You are an important part of this. Com the, the, sorry, of the community. Wow, really killing the moment here. You're an important part of the lives of the people around you. Too often, we're our own harshest critics, critics and our own biggest bullies. We belittle the impact we have on others because we're too critical of ourselves or underestimate our own gifts and talents. So, if you remember anything from this game, please remember that. 
You are amazing, and you are worth it, Michaela. And if you don't feel that way, that's okay, too. There's a huge community out there full of made people who will be there for you and will encourage you. This community exists in part because of you, and that makes you valuable to me and valuable to us. Thank you, Michaela, for being a part of this community. We couldn't do what we do without people like you. Thanks again for playing this game, Michaela. See you around. Aw, so that's why this video was important for, for me to put my name in. Oh my god! My heart! Whoa! <laughs> Welcome to the gallery. Be sure to talk to everyone and look at everything. I will. Let's do this. Hi, I'm Emmy. I played Jenny and May in this game. Keep spreading the magic that is your joy and optimism to this world. It's been a great, crazy road trip so far, but best bud Jack in the driver's seat and any billions of fans in the backseat having a rip roaring time. Cheers. Aw. Oh, look at that. Hi, Jack. I'm Cat, or Kitty Cat Thing, if you've seen that username in the comments. Would you look at this? I'm in a video game. I've been in the community for a hot minute now. I was introduced by my best friend and got hooked on October 2016 with the first anti-pocalypse. That was an awesome dude. I'm still on the edge of my seat with every appearance. Anyways, I'm so, so glad I asked Katie if I could play test for her. I was the first list player of this game. Truly an honor, because this game has brought me so many new friends and opportunities, and has made me appreciate the fandom a trillion times more than I already did. Now I'm working with her and the team at SPG, look out for the sequel, and on the YouTube channel as a VA, and just generally having a great time. So thanks for that, man, and for all of the awesome stuff you do. I really hope you liked playing, and I hope that you liked the bonus track, Cough Syrup, the musical, because those are my lyrics, and they were super fun to write. The Cough Syrup song with Catch Incredible Lyrics is available on the Cough Syrup Studio channel, YouTube, and you've seen the gallery if you look at Best Beer. Dope! Oh my gosh. Creepy. I love that. Hey Jack, my name is Echo Echo. I'm kind of writing this at 1.56 a.m. and highly sleep deprived. This is probably isn't healthy. Anyway, thank you for playing this game. It means a lot to everyone involved. I love your videos and your personality. I hear messages of all different types, but I want to say same th some things in my own way. So thank you, nerd, for everything. For the last smile, friends, the pick me up and down to earth moments. Thank you so much, Jack. You mean a lot to me. And now I'm going to stop so you can talk to others. Happy gaming, you are potato. Aw. Ah, oh, super hot. I love that. Hey Jack, I'm not good at this sort of thing since I'm really awkward with heartfelt messages, but I just w wanted to say thanks for being hilarious and bringing a smile to my face. I don't always watch your videos, but when I do, they never fail to cheer me up, and some of them have gotten me through some rough t spots every now and then, so thanks a bunch. Keep being awesome. Amanda. Miss Kukamanga. Aw. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. I love that. Jack, hello. Tis I, Emily, the one responsible for the craziness that is and forever shall be known as the character Cliff. Katie and I have been writing the same How to Train Your Dragon fanfiction together for the last nearly four years. And next thing you know, my co-author, my bestie, was telling me she wanted to rip Cliff from his home in the world of obscure fanfiction. Now, from one dork to another, you must understand that we have to stand up for each other in dorkdom. That being said, I was a bit apprehensive of allowing my Cliff story to go from the confines of fanfiction to the world of gaming. And I sincerely hope that you enjoyed him, but as you saw, Cliff is a bit of a talker and likes to toss random puns at the most inconvenient of times. Also, Hydra Snacks, he'll eat all your capes shamelessly and without mercy. Honestly, if you love Cliff, you would love me, because me and Cliff are one and the same, minus the fact that he is distinctly male and I am not. Now go forth, my good friend, and stay dorky. Hope you love the game and have a fantabulous day, sir. Aw. <laughs> the Temmie. Temmy Molly, so I love that. How do we even start? You have meant so much to me over the last couple of years. When I saw the first video by you, I Happy Wheels, by the way, rip. Oh, same! I think. I was in such a dark and hopeless place that I hadn't even smiled in months. But for the rest of the night, my sides were aching from laughing so hard, and I know you've heard it a million times, but I thank you for saving me, for making me see you good in the world again. The last couple years have been so much brighter since I found you and your channel, and you've helped change me so much. Because of your enthusiasm for life and your drive to be the best you can be, you sparked my desire to be more and, and do more. Because of you, I now have the courage to sit in front of a camera playing games, trying my hardest to be the best me and to maybe make someone else smile. You're an incredible man, Sean, and I will always be one in the sea of faces cheering you on and watching you grow. Keep doing what you're doing and keep stretching your horizons and you will continue to change lives. Danny Cobot, Alyssa. Aw. Uh, nice. Is that the anti-version? Oh, and look at that. Hey, Jack, remember this is an actual screenshot from the first time you attempted to play the boss on your live stream. This was an absolutely amazing and surreal experience. Seeing the game on your channel is such an honor, especially since said stream was going to such a good cause. By the way, the person who is writing this is Katie, the boss of the boss, you could say. You can find me in the gallery, but I wanted to say a couple words here about the stream and why it was so important that the boss was featured at that time. This game was made in 2017. You can probably tell by the fact that the references to games you played stop around kindergarten. The nostalgia trip must have been really cool for you, but at the time we didn't know you were going through a lot. 
A lot of the things you said at the end of 2017 made me a bit nervous about you playing this game. Of course, I don't know exactly what you were going through, and I didn't need to. That's why I was so vague in the battle, but the timing just felt too perfect. The fact that you played this game while talking about PMA and getting help is so much more significant than you can imagine. I know you went through a lot as well, but 2017 wasn't the best year for the team either. In fact, this entire game came to be because I have depression and ADHD as well. I didn't feel like life was worth living anymore or that I was valuable or that I mattered to anyone. My mom gave me some advice that inspired the whole game. She told me that we are our own biggest bullies and that we need to stop being so hard on ourselves. No one is crueler to us than we are. I believe that so firmly now. While working on the portal section, my depression worsened again, but this time I had your community around me. I had the support and the encouragement. I had a team and a group of best friends I'd made because of you and your channel. Suddenly, I wasn't so alone anymore, and it didn't take long for me to snap out of it and finish this game. So this game is near and dear to me, and you can probably tell I poured my heart and soul into it. I love your community more than words can express. Even if, ultimately, the cutscene didn't work, the fact that you thought of us from, for that stream in particular resonates with, it, with me. I feel this game was made for exactly the kind of people you were trying to reach out and help, t to help people like me. So thank you, Jack, for thinking of us, for keeping up with our game even after you couldn't get it working on the stream. Keep up that PMA and know we, that we are so toxic sarcastic pasta games will always be there cheering you and your community on oh that's really sweet i love that wow look at all these people to talk to oh my god i see you trico up there hello i'm Catherine, aka nickel puff i hope you had fun playing the work i did on this was a speck compared to the hard work of others but nonetheless i had fun offering my time for it it's the least i can do your kindness reminds me to believe that there is still good in the world thanks for being a beacon of hope when i had none Aw. oh my gosh wow so so cool. Hey, Jack. I'm RS046, although most people just call me Altair. I'm one of the nerds who helped playtest this game. Fun, huh? Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you so much for doing what you do. You bring joy to a lot of people, me included, and I think that's a real incredible ability to have. I hope that you also get the feel to feel the same happiness that you give to others. Stay cool, Bossatron. Aw. Aw. The angst. But it's Phil Fanner. Hey, Jack. I'm Becca. Rubber Soul is 19 online, and it. Sorry. <laughs> I did a, some of the art for this game. I did a lot of the art in the credits and the art for the very last video. Anyway, I know you've got tons of lovely people to talk to, so I'll try to be brief. Haha. <laughs> I've been a part of the JSC community for two years now, and I've absorbed a lot of your positive energy and messages about keep smiling, such most of us have. But what really touched me was, uh, I think it was last summer? I don't remember how it all started, but you ended up t taking several ADD slash ADHD tests of over uh, about a week. I know crazy stuff, but let me explain. Those videos made me more nervous than I'd ever confess. See, I've had almost 20 years to come to terms with my ADHD, the static buzz, the jittering, the tongue, trying and tying and loosing, or forgetting things all the time, and just ha this overall sense of being the class clown and left at or an embarrassment to be around. It hasn't been easy. Actually, most of the time it's very, very hard, but never once has it or my struggles or, m or mental illness ever actually felt validated. Here in the US, the two are a catch-all. They aren't considered anywhere near as serious as other illnesses, so they aren't taken as seriously or seriously at all. Never in almost 20 years have I had heard someone actually, someone actually validate all my struggles. And not just mine, there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of us in the community, and a few that help build this game that all struggle with ADD slash ADHD. And every single person that I've talked to has expressed the same thing, an overwhelming gratitude for someone that we all look up to for finally taking these illnesses seriously and treating them respectfully. So thank you. It will forever mean more to us than I think I can ever describe. From me, from them, from all of us, thank you. OG and Remley, after all, sorry. Whether you are ADD slash ADHD yourself or not, Jack, you've been a bigger ally to us than you may ever understand, and we are here for you too. The people you've empowered are here for you, friend. Heck, we're here for everyone and anyone who thinks they might be struggling with this or who already are. We are family like no other. We literally call ourselves a tribe, and we are here to support you and be your friend. So again, thank you. Just thank you. Can I can I get a high five for all of us tribe members and a hug if we ever meet in person? Oh, sorry for rambling like that, but thanks for playing the game. So many terrific people worked really hard on it. Uh, you better get going and keep mingling though. A rolling stone and all that. See you around. Aw. Aw. Hell yeah. Yamachi Dash. That's cute. Hi, I'm Laura. I did a few songs and sprites from, for the game. I hope you like it. Jack, your videos make me laugh on my work days, and you make me happy even when I'm at my lowest. Please keep doing what you're doing. We all love you. Oh, Whoops. Uh... Sorry, press zero again. <laughs> Little anti-Sam. Cute. 
Hi Jack, I'm Wolfie aka Nightmare Wolf on Tumblr. You remember, remember my art from there. I hope you enjoyed the game. It was fun to be part of it for me and creatively failing as an artist. And seeing how passionate the team was while making this game was just super nice and encouraging. They did a great job. As for me, I just wanted to thank you for doing what you do and by making me and millions of other people smile every single day. Heck, even you blogging my art makes me happy for the rest of my day. It's super sweet and you, that you interact with us this much and care about us all. Really, thank you. I know we are not supposed to thank you for that, but guess what? I just did. <laughs> now go, talk to other people. I'm sure they have something nice to say as well. Oh, I love that. All night in the woods. <coughs> hey Jack, my name is Casual Story DJ, some people call me, and I voice acted Cliff Medley in this game. I'm a pretty big fan of you and your content, and I just want to take this time to say that you have helped me a lot in my life. Whenever I was having a horrible day or just feeling down, watching your content just made me feel better by making me smile and laugh. I'm especially a fan of your longer playthroughs, my favorite probably being your Entourage 4 one, and for that I just wanted to say thank you for being who you are and doing what you do, and keep being yourself and keep doing what you do, thank you. Aww. I love reading all these, those, but uh, a lot of reading is making my brain shut down. Sorry. Hi, Jack. I was a playtester for this game because you and the community you created have done so much to help me in the past. I wanted to give something back, so I decided to assist you in what way I could with this wonderful game. Thank you so much. Hey, I'm Ta Hi, I'm Taylor. I helped with programming wireline and teaching the team how to work with RPG Maker. I'm really glad to have contributed to such a passionate fan project. <coughs> Hey Jack, it's me, Laura. Also, all things music on YouTube. You might know me from Tumblr. Anyway, if you're reading this, I just want to say thank you for playing the game. It means a lot to me and everyone who was involved in making it. Although I didn't create this amazing game, I did write some of the music. This includes the original of All The Way, one of many that I've done. Remember me now? Haha, <laughs> maybe not. Anyway, thank you again for playing Like A Boss. Bye, Jack. Aww. <coughs> hey there, I'm Fife. When I saw the Tumblr post calling for emergency artists to help so this game could be completed, I volunteered my help. I don't watch your video, Jack, but I hope you know how special and absolutely dedicated your fan base is. Treat them well and know that they really love you. Aww. <laughs> the little TARDIS. The TARDIS was in the game to draw attention to the phone box. The phone box and the tile assets were what we were using, blended into the back to the background so much, and we didn't want the player to get stuff. Oh, okay. Hi, Jack. My name's Umna. <laughs> Sorry if I mispronounced that. Wow. And I'm one of the sprite artists of this game. I've been watching your channel for a little over two years now, and this year I finally got to meet you at your Paxi's panel. Aww. You remember me as one as the one who gave you the shadow of the class drawing and the one who was constantly pausing apologizing for my over emotional state. <laughs> me. I know I mentioned this there as well, but since I'm given the opportunity I wanted to thank you again for being such a positive force in my life. I was diagnosed with PTSD and major depression at sixteen, and your content has gotten me through some of the worst of it. As of now I'm in therapy and on a meds to help me cope, but for the many years that I was barely making it through, the videos you produce have never failed to put a smile on my face and when I felt like I wasn't capable of happiness. So thank you for me and millions of other people who you've helped along the way and I hope you enjoy the game. Aw. Aw, that's so cute. Look at that. Oh, oh, Sean. God, see, that's what I mean by the facial expressions. It's so, ah, it's so good. Hello, I'm Ayla. I just wanted to say thank you, Jack, for being here to put smiles on our faces and for brightening up our days that sometimes go completely go downhill with every single video you upload. I have no words to describe how much you influenced and still influenced me to be the best version of myself, be way more positive, especially when I was such a negative person, and I'm so grateful. <coughs> so once again, thank you and your amazing community for being there, for, for always being there for me. Aww. Oh, look at Cliff. So cute. Oh, hey, Jack. I'm Melina. How's it going? Just wanted to, to thank you for being one of the things that make my life way less depressing sometimes, and also for being the reason I met all those great new people when I started working on this game. Keep being awesome. Aw. Oh, look at Jenny. So cute. Wow, Jacksepticeye, it's so cool to meet you. Well, in a sense, at least. Where to begin? Probably with my name, Ryan. I'm Ace. I've been watching you for about three years now, give or take. You've helped me through so much. I don't even know what to say, man. There's so much I want to tell you. There's so much I want to thank you for. I find your videos where I was in a really dark place, and there's no words to tell you how much I appreciate it. How much I appreciate you. But I'll save all of that for another day. I don't think I'd be half of who I am without you. I doubt I've ever... I have, I'd have even met some of my closest friends if it weren't for you. I doubt I would have been able to join such an amazing team to help. I'm living my dream right now, working on video games, and, have, and, and I've had an absolute blast. I owe you so much, and I know you always say not to thank you, and that we don't owe you anything, but honestly, you give and receive, if that makes any sense. I have so much more I want to say to tell you the whole story on how you helped me, but we'll have another day to talk. A con, or who knows, maybe the stars will align, and I'll meet you walking around one day. For now, I'll let you get a move on. You've got stuff to record, things to do, people to talk to you. I'm sending you good advice always Jacob boy keep up your amazing work I'll make to sure to punch that like button in the face like a boss I'll see you around Aww. oh Julie interesting cute 
Hi, my name's Julie, Jenny's sister. She mentioned me in some flavor text, but you might not have seen it. I think, yeah, ever so slightly. So believe it or not, I, actually, I think Cliff also m mentioned a sister too, or whatever. So believe it or not, I actually was supposed to be a main character in this game, but I didn't test too well with our real play tester, so they scrapped me. I guess it's all part of the game development, and you never know if I'll get used elsewhere. Jenny really was the better character, but I would have been a bit more sarcastic and a bit more of a natural leader. I just really wasn't as nice, and I think that's why I didn't gel with the team as well as Jenny did. Say what you want, people like their cute cinnamon roll characters, hence Cliff and Jenny making the final cut. But I couldn't let you say goodbye to this game without at least seeing me first. Oh, and there is one more thing, the, ve the developers working on an art book since so much of the art of this game wouldn't fit in this party room without it getting massive, so keep an eye out for it. I guess now I do have a purpose to tell you about that. You might see me in another game, but until then, bye. Aw. Oh, I love that, that's so cute. Oop, wait, oop, hello. Hi Jack, I'm Annie Alice, free artist, so happy to meet you. I just wanted to say thank you for so much for all the positivity you bring into mine and other people's life. You work so, so hard, not only for the sake of the creating, but also for the connection with people. It just warms my heart. Thank you. Aw. Aw, look at Trico. Round of applause for Ugna, who made this Trico sprite. It took quite a while to convert him into pixelated form. Playtest responded very previously to him, so it was worth it. It's also worth noting that Annie Alice did the Gladys sprite and completely blew the team away with how good it looked. Aw, sweet! Ooh. During development, we had a lot of mistakes, but we also had a lot of fun with them. Here's some pictures of the process from our mistakes to things we did to entertain ourselves. Ooh. Ooh! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, wow. That's a lot of mistakes. <laughs> During development, we made a lot of mistakes. Oh, whoops. Oh, I didn't realize I was back. Sorry, 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 sorry. Whoops, whoops, whoops. No, wait. Back. No, I'm sorry. I need to stop clicking fast. Okay, wait. Wait. Okay. <sighs> sorry. Technical difficulties. <sighs> Brain not functioning. Death's not counting, Sean. Two Easter eggs found. One out of seven. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Read about the behind the code. Read about the behind the code development of the characters. Lots of text ahead. Sure. Oh boy, here we go. Developing the characters for this game was a challenge. They all had to be lovable and interesting while not being perfect. Original characters have always been something I excel at, so I found it to be a fun challenge. Jack was particularly difficult to pin down. Originally, I wanted him as more dry and sarcastic. It wasn't until I asked my best friend of 16 years, Amy, to take a look over the game that she admitted I wasn't making him as bubbly as he should have been. I ended up scrapping a lot of his dialogue to make it more positive and happy. Amy and I also watched hundreds of hours of Jack videos to try to pin down his personality, both the Jack side and the Sean side. We tried to separate those sides to make two individual characters. Originally, Sean was supposed to represent all of his insecurities about the channel and the community. However, there was a miscommunication when relaying this to, to Amy, and she thought I meant that there was a sort of dissociation between Jack and Sean. Splitting him into two was a lot more interesting than Jack fighting his own vague insecurities, and it allowed the game to be more lighthearted with both sides controlling wireland and how it works instead of just one. We joked that this game's tagline should have been an adventure in cognitive dissociation dissonance, Jesus Christ, but writing for Jack and Sean was fascinating and stressed us all as storytellers. I'm a huge believer in show, but don't tell it. And I'm very proud of how it came out. I came up with the idea to make Billy a protagonist while watching Jeff Sivica's 1 million subscriber YouTube party massacre. I found that the game to be very entertaining, but I started wondering what Billy would be like if it turned out he wasn't evil at all. The idea ended up fitting so well into the game's theme that I, I got very excited about it. I always imagined him giving Jack a hard time about always killing him but being a pretty sweet kid, always willing to help whenever needed, even if he liked to be a bit snarky on occasion. I pitched him as a character of the group as a little shit, but a very lovable little shit, and soon, as soon as Elena did his face says, I knew exactly what kind of character he would be and righted the banter between him and the group was a blast. Jenny was the most difficult character to pin down. She went through multiple forms and wasn't even named Jenny at the start. There's concept art on the wall of the original character we came up with, a girl named Julie. I'm heavily influenced by what I see in Julie's face sets made her more of a sarcastic, abrasive character. I designed her to have a heart of gold underneath it all and that the others would have uncovered it in time, but I could never get the character right and got frustrated. Makori was brutally honest when she first played the game and said that Julie was simply unlikable and it was hard to tell where I was going with the character. I had no choice but to scrap her in an attempt to come up with someone new. 
I had originally envisioned Jeff's female friend to be a gentler, but Alina had changed designs. I asked her to try making Julie blonde, but to keep her purple clothes and green eyes. I gave her a general idea of the character I'd always intended to write, and Jenny was created. Jenny was still tricky to write, but she came a lot more sim easily with this new design. I wanted her to grow on you gradually instead of being instantly endearing like Cliff. I imagined that the player would get to know her more as the came progress and love her by the end. Jenny was always supposed to be the perceptive character he saw through the dis uh, dissonance, while Cliff would miss completely, simply due to the fact that they are fans for completely different reasons. Jenny was meant to represent the Sean side, with Cliff representing Jack. Huh, interesting. Ever since I knew I wanted to include fans, I knew I wanted to include Cliff as a major character. Cliff made his debut as a character on fanfiction.net in the long-running How to Train Your Dragon series growing up Haddock. He was first mentioned in the fifth story when, very briefly, as a shy boy with a pre chronicle. Emily, my co-author, and I brought him back as a light-hearted character meant to offset the dark storyline of the series' seventh installment. His first appearance in that fashion was on May 15, 2015. The chapter in which he was introduced was one of the darkest in the story, but the readers loved him instantly, and he quickly was promoted from side character to main character by the end of it and in the next one. Sorry, my book comes in the way. I knew I wanted to adopt Cliff from his humble origins and transition to the gaming world as soon as I knew I wanted to add fans to this game. Cliff was such a beloved character by that time, and I knew he would be a lot of fun to write as a big Jeff fan. His personality remained almost exactly the same, although I did alter his physical appearance, his reference to his brother Eric, and his a nod to the series, as Eric is his best friend in the story, and he constantly refers to him as his bruh. <laughs> I know it wasn't a brother that Cliff mentioned, I don't remember. <laughs> Flavor test. Terran, Cliff's crush in this game, is also a nod to the series. Oh no, he mentioned Terran, that's right. Where he and Terran were just about to start dating in the story as of the time this game was made. Clawing with Paddock, fans officially referred to them as Claire, and, and I knew I wanted to reference it in, in here. It here. Oh no, he mentioned Terran, but also a sister, I think? I don't remember. Flavor test. Coming up with characters is a challenge and a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed them, and I look forward to coming up with more in a future games. Katie. Aw. Okay, um, let's see what's up with this. Hi, I'm David. It was a dream all along. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Yo, the name's Haddock. Yes, like the fish. Hey, speaking of fish, what do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish. I knew it. <laughs> Maybe you heard that one already, but it never gets old to me. It's one of my favorite jokes along with, what did the teacher say when you lost a pencil? Where's my pencil? But anyway, as I was saying, I'm Haddock. I'm basically just a nerdy musician who hoards musical instruments, books, and action figures. Love video games, too. Oh, and speaking of games and stuff, your YouTube channel. There are no words to describe how wonderful and inspirational you are. Thank you so much for all you've done for the community around you. Anti, how's it going? This isn't fair, I should have been the villain of this game. I mean, glitching in the computer and having to face against yourself? Why'd the developers have to make this all psychological? Well, aren't you here now? Sure, fan service. I didn't even get a face yet. How unfair is this? Sorry, man. Maybe someone will make you the villain of your own game someday. Oh, trust me, this isn't over. Ooh, back away slowly. Hi Jack, Sean, my name is Eva, aka Creations of Eve on Tumblr. I'm one of the video editors on the team and also the main credits artist and editor. Just wanted to say thank you. I found the channel during my final year when I was studying from far away from home, missing my friends and family. The first series that I watched was Rambo, but the get beginner's guy really stuck a chord struck a chord. It was nice to have like a friend to play video games with. I used to play with them tons with my siblings, so watching your videos felt like having a piece of home away from home. After my studies, I was burned out and lost my spark, but then October 2016 happened and kicked my creativity into overdrive. Holy hell, that was an awesome month, and to this day, your videos still cheer me up immensely and also inspire me at the same time. Shout out to the community as well for being awesome and inspiring too. So many cool people and I'm happy to be a part of it. Haha, <laughs> top of the morning while well, I tried. Oh well. Wow. Um, why are you here? Hey, you said I was your favorite, and this team was heavily inspired by Undertale. Seemed natural, so wanna buy something? I'll pass on that, thank you. Uh -huh. Hey Jeff, my name is Jay, and I worked audio and video editing on the game you're playing right now. But that's not what I usually do as a hobby. If you look at my full name, Jay Ikam Ikalima, you can find the music I'm making online. Most of stuff is free, but I'm releasing an album pretty soon, so be on the lookout for that. Or don't, I'm not a cop. Love what you've been doing for the past few years. Keep up the great work. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> spaghetti. And then Empire showed showing up and immediately causing mayhem was one of the first ideas I had. Originally, they were going to pour kitchen cube in the computer to help it feel better, but the un undirous fandom came up with the inf infamous cup syrup incident and worked better. Plus, an accidentally drunk Papyrus is a hilarious thought. <laughs> hey Jack, I'm Justin, the lead composer. Thanks for playing the game. I hope you had fun with it, because I definitely had fun writing music for it. Cheers, mate. Aw. So cool. Watch the bonus music video, Cuff Syrup by Combustible Pasta Studios. Hell yeah, man! 
Give me that bonus stuff. Cough syrup musical. Oh, this will be interesting. That's your computer sick. We've got an easy fix. No need to panic. Cause we're, we're on the case. Uh, so it's a broken stuck. It needs to pick me up. So time to break out the cough syrup. No, no need to worry. <laughs> nice little Jack Clips for his voice. Guaranteed on the man. No, 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 no. You've got a problem, we got the solution With us on the case, there's no way we can mess up this time And the time that we brought this computer Back to the glory it once had Sure, it's an object, but still it could quite sick And sick things deserve a remedy Take it from me, Jack, once we've got his health back You'll be thinking, let's just wait and Don't see Don't you dare! Oh, no! Oh, maybe that wasn't the best what did I just say? Sorry. I'm sure we can get that fixed up. No problem. Oh, God. What's going on? We may or may not have broken Jack's computer. You what? Hey. It looks like coffee. It looks like they got you into a sticky situation. <laughs> Sans! I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I won't, I can't, I won't. <laughs> it's not my fault this time. You don't seem to get it. This is Wireland. In place to do it to the world. Where the story unfurls. Would you let me tell it? You're here in Wireland. Yeah, the name's not that grand, but it's what we call this internet world. So what you're telling us is that Jack's stuck here? Yes. No! Oh, unless we can find a way to fix the computer and send him home. Well, I'm gonna go set up shop. Yeah. Sans, get back here and help us! Anyway, that's not a huge issue, is it? He's got the greatest minds in Wireland helping him. Well, that's true, but there's a lot of things we need to fix the computer, and I don't know if we can do it. Nonsense! You've got the problem, we've got the solution With us on the case, there's no way we can mess up this time And the time that we helped our good friend Jack Back to the world where he belongs Sure, it's a tough case, but still it's a fun chase And you can't fail unless you try and Take it from me, Jack, we've all got your back Now it's time to step outside Looks like we're starting a quest for a new day What is this, a video game? No time for fear, just know that we are all here. We'll help you through this weird day. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Yeah, I, I know about you, but uh. Sins, now is not the time for puns. I thought you were leaving. I thought I'd stop back in. I wish. Jack, all the best after all. Sins. <laughs> oh my God, that was amazing. Bro. That was so cool! Jack never showed that when he played this game! Aw, oh, that's dope. If you like that video, check out Combustible Pasta Studios on YouTube. In addition to posting trailers for our upcoming games and a few developer live streams, we are also adapting both Undertale and Doki Doki Literature Club into musicals. Wow! This video was made for fun, of course, but we apply the same quality standards at CPS and we do as we do at Sarcastic Pasta Games. But it's entirely up to you and I'll stop self-promoting now. Huh? Oh. Hi Jack, keep up the good work. Andrew VI for fun guy. Nice. We all forgot some credits. Our deepest apologies to those we forgot. We'll attempt to list them here. So she, sorry for forgetting to put you in the additional artist credits so slide. Your bendy art was incredible. Special thanks to Cosmo Player for the pink slime sprite and to Tasmanian Bread on Tumblr for the water cooler dialogue. Oh sir, by Vile Monarch. Slime Rancher by Monomy Park. Spelling Jungle by Bright Star Technology and Sierra Online Inc. A new home by JSquare Productions. To all the games we referenced but forgot to create, we apologize. There were so many references, it was hard to keep track of them all. We tried our absolute best, and your games are incredible. Oh, also, Bum and Wade make weird ca cameos, but you can't interact with them. Well, I should have added them to the credits, in addition to all the game theory references, too. And the one obscure nostalgia critic one, and the quote from the room. Nice. Haha, <laughs> so cute. I mean, I know this is a fan game, but I don't even know who or what a Jack guy is. Kidding, thanks for playing. I'm Macquarie, the main scripter slash programmer and assistant artist. 90% of what I did on this game was just background work, and while I'm only a guest developer, it was nice to help with some of the visuals in the finale. Hope you had fun playing. There are a lot of references and characters in this, and it's fun to see some of the odd stuff mixed with the new- old stuff mixed with the new. This team made this game for you and the millions of people in the it's this community, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for making it this far. See you around, Macquarie. Aw. Aw. Oh. <coughs> oh, nice little save there. Hey Sean, I'm Amy. Thanks for being that voice running in the background of my mental breakdowns. You've been a comfort and an amusement. I sincerely wish 
the best for you on your new next new adventures, whatever they may be. Aw. Aw, oh, the little bendy. Hey, hey mom, mom, I finished the game, are you proud of me? Aw, oh, so cute. Whoa. Hey there, Jack. December update, because you said you wanted to play this game on the 13th. I decided to do some minor edits to it to fix up the, some issues and polish a few things. Since it's now been three months since the game released, we've gotten to so, so much to all the people. Or, thank you. Wait. No, I'm, I skipped the line. Sorry. We've gotten some awesome fan art for it, which we're displaying here. <sighs> Sorry. My brain is not working right now. Thanks so much to all the people who made it art for us. We absolutely love fine art and appreciate everyone who took the time to make some. This is a shout out to the community here. Thank you so much for all the kind words you've said about the game. We've got so many glowing, wonderful reviews on fine art and even theories, and we treasure every one. You have supported us through a lot of hard times, read our silly Tumblr posts, and encouraged us every step of the way. We can't thank you enough for your support. This game really was a love letter to the this community much more than just the game for Jack. You completely deserve every second of effort we put into it. Like, we love you guys. Thank you so much. So, pa pasta, pasta games. Aw. Oh, wow. Aw. <laughs> That's so cute. I don't know if you remember this, but you reblogged this one on Tumblr, and we were a little concerned you'd actually spoil accidentally spoiled the game. Uh-huh. Wait, did I? Oops. I might have... Sorry. Skip me skip some text. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, just the, sorry. <laughs> that one was different. Aw. Aw. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, one of our awesome new arts for the sequel. Oh, dope. Oh. So sad, but so good. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at that. So cute. Oh, I recognize the soders. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Oh, oh. I'm just going on to all these, but uh, I can't help it. They're all so good. Oh, whoops. One of our awesome new arts. Oh, flavor text. Can't miss it. Oh, oh my gosh. The save us. Whoa. Oh, a little pixel. Look at that. Pixel art. Hell yeah. Hi, Jack. My name is James, and I'm a Patreon supporter of Sarcastic Pasta Games, the studio that made this game. I'm a fan of this game, but I've also been a fan of yours for a long time. Thank you for making me laugh whenever, whenever I felt down. You always make me feel better. I especially love your playthrough of Spyro 3. <coughs> Keep doing what you're doing. The world is better for you, for having you in it. All the best. Aw. <coughs> hey, Dork. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Sarah, though. Most people know me as Ginger, and I've been my Patreon for Sarcastic Pasta Games since I discovered the boss back in August 2017. By working as a lyricist and chorus member of their YouTube, for their YouTube channel, Combustible Pasta Studios, I've met dozens of hardworking, friendly, and incredibly talented people within the community, and I'm sure now that you've played through a few of their games, you agree. I sincerely hope you love all of our future works as much as we love making them. Oh, and in the off chance Jack is reading this, I just want to say thanks again. I've been subscribed to you since your log cabin days. Wow, dedicated. And seeing you grow and branch out over the years inspired me to do the same. Sorry. <coughs> There's no way I'd be who I am today if I hadn't gone searching for some roller coaster VR reaction vids and stumbled across your channel. I wish you luck with all your future projects and in whatever the heck you do. See you in the next video. Aw. Uh -huh. Although I'll send this as thank you, Patreons. So cute. Hi, Jack. I haven't been subscribed for very long, and it's not even been a full year, but I still want to say thank you. You gave me something to look forward to again, and through your community, I've made some amazing friends. Friends who would also like to say thank you. Autumn Arcade, Felicia Armigio, Alana River Armigio, Morgan, George, Plotter P, Garcia, Onyx C, Sarah Shaft, Silver Raymond, Charlie B, Jasmine K, Rebecca Najee C, McKenna Humble C, Rebecca Mercy, Vaisma, Leah Leaf, Sapling, Pearl Burr Blood, Lily G, Krista, Moon S, Santa Busi, Is Isa, Izzy Johnson, and Eden G, and me, m m m um, no, Ronnie, Ronnie Miranda. Thank you so much, Jack, from all of us. I <laughs> have the M. Wait. Oh my God. Ah. Beautiful. Love that. Oh. I feel like I missed flavor text there. Hold on. No. Okay, I didn't. Uh, and that's just foodies? Interesting. Hmm. Well, send this is thank you, patrons. Oh, wait, I already missed that. Sorry. <laughs> oh. So cool. Oh, with the little code and all that. Wow, there's so many rooms. Oh my gosh. Okay, I already looked at the, tar at the TARDIS. Is it gonna say the same thing? Yeah, okay. Spark a little on the goes a long way. Oh, upcoming game by Star Pasta Games. Oh, dope! 
Hi, I'm Katie. I guess you could say that I'm the boss of the boss. I was the one who came up with the idea. I got the team together, programmed most of the game myself, wrote most of the dialogue, and agonized over every aspect of it for nine months straight. That's in addition to playing the newscaster, the turrets, Elvis mate, and creating some of the sound effects of my own. And I helped sing the song on the Layers of Fear record. Layers of Fear! That's what it was called! The melting... The, the freaking melting painting game! Jesus Christ! Yeah, I definitely put a lot of work into it, and I'm so glad you played it. It means a lot. First of all, I want to thank you for playing this game. I would call it my game, but it's a lot more than that. I might have gotten the ball rolling, but it's our game, the communities. I would tell you the story of how this game came to be, but I think I'll save that for the art book. Or I could tell you in person at Faxi if I get the chance to meet you. I'll be there this year, and I'd love to talk to you in person. You even told me via Tumblr or blog that you'd be re really nice if we met in person, and I will be holding you to that. As long as you your meet and greet isn't Saturday, I'll be there. Can't wait. This silly little game idea seemed to be the answer to my pr prayers for inspiration. No joke, I really did pray for creative ideas, and God came through for me. In fact, there were a lot of very convenient events in the development of this game. Every time I needed a new idea, either I or someone on the team got a good one. Every time I needed to replace someone or find someone to help a team member out, the right person stepped up at exactly the right time. A few times it even happened before I knew I was going to need someone. How's that for provided? Providence. I really feel like this game was meant to be, like it could really make an impact on someone. If, if and it, if it does help <clears throat> even one person, that's good enough for me. I poured everything I had in this game: finances, time, energy, time. I could have spent sleeping. You, you name it, and I probably contributed it. But I am so proud of how it came out. How it actually came together in ways I never could have dreamed. The original ideas I have for this game pale in comparison to this, and your community came through for me time and time again. I could never have done this without them, and I could never have made the friends I made along the way if not for you. This game may have started you, but it was really about the community and how powerful it is, about not kicking yourself when you're already down, and remembering that good can come from bad situations if you know how to look at it. And don't think these are lessons I've learned the easy way. I still struggle with them every single day, so in a way, maybe the person in this game helped the most is me. However you are, be you, Jack, or an amazing person in the community, I hope you enjoyed the, the game this game and i hope that it's made you reevaluate re re <coughs> re your life and how you look at situations and shana thank you for making researching so much fun i had to watch countless hours of videos to what right for you and i had a blast you're an incredible man and i look forward to seeing what you do next i should probably wrap this up thank you again for playing my game i hope you continue to support sarcastic pasta through the donations and our on a channel patreon or through combustible combustible pasta studios or youtube channels by playing our games we want to keep bringing you these amazing games so please consider helping us out so that we can help you out thank you again katie katie mary 99 also known as the intuitive special and katie mary 99 sweet oh so cute hello game ending flops hello jeff do you want to end the game now or keep looking around oh keep looking around come back when you're ready okay cool Hi Jack, I'm Jessica, but a lot of people call me Sushi. I have to say that I wasn't very familiar with your videos before the game, but man, I can definitely say I'm a fan now. Working on this game has been a crazy experience, but it's one that I wouldn't trade for anything. I mean, it got me into watching your videos, which is awesome, but it also showed me exactly what I want to do with my life, which is making video games. Interestingly enough, I wanted to make video game music back in high school, but the fact that I needed to audition to get into the university music school scared me off that track. Stupid, I know, but now I'm back on the track I feel I need to be on, only this time I'm more involved in the overall game making process. Kinda funny that I went from just drawing on dense face sets as she's my favorite character to doing fire stands and outfits as well to becoming assistant everything and really putting my heart into this game. Literally, if you listen to the escape track from the Layers of Fear section, that's my heartbeat in the background. Wow. When I wrote that song, I thought it'd be fitting to add a piece of me considering that Layers of Fear featured an artist painting with, well, spoilers for those who haven't seen it, but I think you get what I mean. Anyway, thank you so much for playing this game. By doing that, you're showing the world what a group of relatively unknown and but talented people can do, and this will definitely help pave the way for our futures. And as someone who's been working part-time for the past six years since graduating from college, hoping she can do something in the future to actually support herself, that means so much to me. This game is not only a love letter to you and your fantastic community fans, but also a business card, portfolio, and demonstration of what we can do. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I'm always going to remember how you helped us get our dream career started. Aww. Wow, look at that. So cool. Ooh. Wow! Upcoming game by Circus Parsons, and we'd like to offer you the role of yourself, Jack. I mean, I said, blah, 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 if you like. Wow. There won't be much speaking in this game, as it'd be very easy. Wow. That's so cool! Glitch in the system. Wow! Hey, I might play that. What do you know? Here's the game, teaser. Don't worry, it's short. Teaser? Yes, please!
think this game is already out, too. Because it's been... Whoa. Whoa! Because it's been so long since this game came out. Special thanks to Ivan who made the desktop art on the computer for that teaser. Incidentally, he's an artist on another fan game from you, for you called Septscape, which should be out soon. The poster's in the room on the left. Wow! DLC for the Blushman soon. Wow! This is out too, I think. You've seen Jeff's story, but there's another set of stories still waiting to be told. Oh my gosh! I want to play them all! Still needs your credit card. Nah, <laughs> nice. Oh, upcoming fan games. Wow. My power friends games from April 4th. To wow, Step to Escape. Cool. An ego fan game of a friendship, positivity, overcoming struggles, and the fear of being forgotten. Whoa. Come soon. Repeat and detain. Two day coming adventure, Jack Step to fan game. Wow. Sweethearts right coming soon. Wow. Step to Sweethearts. An ego-centric dating sim. Oh my god, a dating sim? Uh, yes, please! Wow. The Chuck Stuff to Get a Game 2. Wow. Set shortly after the events of the first game, he joins Sean as he finds himself back in his world, but something is amiss. There is silence. Fight your way through enemies to uncover the truth and to put an end to the chaos once and for all. Wow. Okay. Uh, mm. Okay, here's the thing. I really want to play all these games, but I'm not Jack. <laughs> And even though Jack hasn't played these games yet, I don't know if he'll ever play them. Hopefully he will. Um, I don't know if I, w I really want to play them, but it feels wrong for me to record it and post it since I'm not Jack. But I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe not all of them. I, I really want to do um, the DLC for the boss and uh, the glitch in the system. Those seem really freaking cool. So maybe I'll play those. Not immediately, obviously. I'll spread them out, but... You know, maybe I'll check those out, because those seem really cool, and even though Jack- hey, and since Jack hasn't played it, it'll be a new experience for me, so, there you go. Alright, now that I've officially looked at everything, yes, I am ready to go. Alright, well, we hope you love the game, and will be willing to help sarcastic pasta games get off the ground. Their contact info is included in the game files. Thank you again for playing. Now enjoy this one last thing we have for you. Alright, bet. What is it? 3.42 a.m. Oh. Oh. Oh, sleepy boy. Oh, with the diamond play button. That is adorable. I love that. I absolutely freaking love that. That is so cute. See you around, Jack. Oh. Or at least I don't think I saw this before. I don't know. It's been a while. Maybe I saw it. I don't remember. I could have sworn he maybe went through all of these rooms in his playthrough, but I'm not entirely sure. Aww. The end. And that is the official end. Wow. Aww. There it is. Wow. So, that's the end of the boss. Um, wow. This video has been going on for an hour and a half, so, uh, sorry if it's late today. Um... Didn't expect it to go this long, but, you know, I absolutely had to go through the whole fan area, because just everything about that was amazing. Just all the little messages from everyone, and all the fan arts. God, the fan arts. And the freaking, like, the, the little music video, and, and all the, God, just, I could ramble for another hour if I wanted to, but, you know, I'm not gonna make you guys suffer through all that, especially since my brain is not working after all that reading. Um, but I enjoyed it, though, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. Um, and Go check out Jacksepticeye, man. He's... God, he's so amazing. 
I know I said this before, but I need to watch him more because, God, I just, I just do. Like, I know I'll enjoy the videos too. Like, I need to stop delaying and watch. Watch the Fighting Irish Potato Man. <laughs> All right. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what games you want me to play next. Um, I don't really have anything in mind, but you know, maybe I'll think of something. Um, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next day. Ne ne next. Pfft, sorry. I will see you next game. Sorry, brain not working. Bye. <laughs>